The librarian wants to share 54 books equally among three classes. How many books will she give to each class? So the first thing we're going to do is draw three circles. You're going to use this back side and draw three circles. Make them big. Look at mine. Okay. How many ones should we have? Four. Four. Go ahead and grab four ones and then pass your bag down. Fifty-four looks like in base ten blocks. On our paper it says share the ten equally. So I'm going to give each group a 10. Can I do another 10 per group? No. No, I can't. So there are how many 10s left over? Two. So how can I fix that so that I can share them equally? Raise a quiet hand if you can tell me. How can I fix those 10 so that I can share them without cutting them? Preston. Change them out to ones. If I have two ten book sticks, how many ones do I need to trade them for? Twenty. Twenty. Okay, go ahead and take a second and trade it up for twenty ones. Hopefully you guys have enough to do that. I'm going to take out my two ten my two tens and I'm gonna put in twenty ones with my four ones that I already have. Okay? Now, can I divide these ones equally, do you think? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go ahead and start dividing them out. Shame. Okay, so just start giving them out like they're little cookies or something for you. Remember, if there's any extra, you leave them out. It has to be equally divided. How many tens are in each circle? Raise your hand if you can tell me how many tens are in each circle. How many? One. One. Okay, let's try again. How many tens are in each circle? Raise your hand when you can tell me how many tens. How many tens are in each circle? One. One. There's one ten in each circle. Now I want you to count how many ones are in each circle. And double check each circle to make sure. I double checked mine. Raise your hand when you know. Okay, how many ones are in each circle? Eight. Eight. So on my paper right here, it asks me, there are how many tens? Eight. No, how many tens? One. Three. Three in each circle. How many, there's one ten, and how many ones in each group? Eight. Eight. So that means how many total? Eight. 18. 110 plus 8 ones equals 18. Go ahead and write it in on your paper. Think for a moment, everybody, if you did this one. How many tens did you have to regroup? Um, two. Two? So you divided, you had nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sticks. And you put them in groups of four. Right? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many six do I have left over? One. So I'm going to have to regroup one, two, to be one ten stick, to be one um, ten ones. Okay? How many ones did I already have before I did the regrouping? Nope. Look again. Two, because I had nine tens and I had two ones. So now how many ones do I have? Twelve. Twelve. Can I put the ten, um, the ones equally into four groups? Yeah. Twelve ones. How many are going to end up in each thing? Three. Three. So if I was doing this on my map, this is what it would end up looking like. I can look at the seven. And think of those as seven tens. Seven ten sticks. So eyes are up here on my board. I'm looking at the seven and I'm thinking of those in my head as seven ten sticks. If I were to divide those into groups, we're not playing with them right now. If I were going to divide those into groups of three, three groups, how many ten sticks would I get in each group? 
I want everybody to think about it for a minute. I have three groups, right? If I have three groups and I have seven ten sticks, how many tens am I going to get in those three groups evenly? Total. Total tens. Can I get all seven equally distributed? No. No. Raise your hand when you know how many of them I can get equally distributed. What do you think, Angelie? Six, right? Because I can do one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get six of those tens equally distributed into those circles, into those groups. Okay? How many are in each, in each group? How many ten sticks do I have in each group? I have an eight. How many? Yes. No, I don't have one in each group. Andy? Two. Two. I have two in here, two in here, two in here. So by dividing them into group, I have two in each group. Because remember, we're trying to, when we're looking at our groups, we're coming up with an answer. Our answer goes up here, correct? So now we're just going to kind of do it as we go. Now, I've used all but one ten. I have one ten left. If I was doing this with my ten sticks, I could show you. Here's my one ten I have left. Okay. I'm going to change that one stick, I mean the ten stick, into ones. How many ones am I going to end up with? Ten. I have this ten stick. If I trade this and regroup it, how many ones do I get with it? Ten. Ten ones, right? How many ones do I have here? From my original problem? Six. 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 Does anybody want to disagree with that? My original problem, I have six ones. Now I'm taking this ten and I'm regrouping it into ones. So this is ten. And this 6, what's 10 plus 6? 6. 16. So now I have 16 ones. Okay. I can look at this, and I know you guys know how to do this already because you've done it in third grade, how to do division this way. But this is why. I used my 10s. I used 6 of them. And I put 2 in each group. I'm regrouping the other one, and I'm bringing down my other six ones that I already have, and now I have 16 ones. If I divide those into three groups, how many, think about it, are going to be in each group? I'm not going to finish it. I want you to tell me how many are going to be in each group. So six, if I had six, six, and six, that would be how much? 18. 18, is that too much? So let's go left. Five, if I put five in each group, that's five, ten, fifteen. Does that work? Yes. We're going to have some left over though, aren't we? Okay. So I ended up with five in each group. I used how many total? How many is this total? Five, ten, fifteen. I used fifteen total. How many ones were in each group? Five. And how many ended up being left over? One. What do I call that? Remaining one. If I have five tens, think about them as tens. Five tens, here they are. How many groups do I need to put them into? Two. Two. How do we know that it's two? Ethan. Because it says right here, right? Two groups. So, I have five tens. I'm going to do it with my fingers. Watch. <laughs> Two groups. How many are in each group? Two. 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 So, I have two in each group. How many did I use to put in those groups? Four. four. My nano nano. Okay, so four. So, the four goes here. I used four tens. How many tens are left over? One. One. one, right? So that's going to go right here. It makes sense. Five minus four equals one. 
okay? So, now, how many ones do I have? One. Nine ones. I'm going to bring those ones down here. I re because now I'm done with the tens. Now I'm going to play with the ones. So I have a ten stick, which I'm going to regroup. How many ones is it going to become? Ten. Ten. I had nine already. So now how many total ones do I have? Nineteen. Nineteen. Think about if I had nineteen ones and two groups, how much can I use and how many are going to end up in each group? One or the other answer I'm looking for. How many I'm going to use? I have an odd number, so can I use all of them? No. no. How many are going to be left over? One. One. one, right? One's going to be left over because it's an odd number, so I know I'm going to have one left over. How many am I going to use, class? Eighteen. Eighteen. I'm going to use eighteen of them. How many are going to end up in each group? Think about it. Nine. I want you to think first. How many? No. Of the ones, I'm going to use 18, and I'm going to split them into two groups. How many are going to end up in each group? Raise your hand when you know. If I want, I can just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And I can keep going like that. It gives me the room to do it over here. Keep going until I go through 18. But how many? Nine. Nine in each group. And then I had how many left over? One. one. Remainder one. Now let me show you a little trick just to kind of remind you of how this is done. I said in my head, how many times does two go into five? And I decided it goes two times. Two times two is four. I subtracted. I brought down my nine ones. I said, how many times does two go into 19? Right? It goes nine times. Nine times two is 18. What you guys did is exactly the way that we used to teach it. It's just a little bit slower because it's making you really think about what's being asked of you. So you don't have to memorize, okay, I need to divide, and then I need to multiply, and I need to bring down, and dad, mother, sister, brother, right? You don't have to remember that. You have to think about what it's asking you and visualize it in base 10 blocks. 